Hey guys! So many of you have asked me about which mods I'm using in uh, in the current series of Shipwrecked. So I thought I would show you. So let's pop in here. It'll do a quick verification. Right, so... Always on status. Now this is the one that shows you uh, for your health and your sanity and your hunger the uh, the numbers underneath. Really, really useful little mod. Um, auto retrap. I I used to use this a lot. I kind of haven't bothered using it at the, uh, in in shipwrecked because um, the the trapping is kind of less important in uh, in shipwrecked. But having said that. I have had it on sometimes, so sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not on. I've been playing around with different configurations to see what works and what doesn't work. Um, and it does work, it does work okay, so um, if you want to use it, feel free. Uh, display food values, this thing's absolutely awesome. Gives you all the stats for uh, every piece of food, just mouse over it, it'll tell you exactly how much health, how much sanity, how much hunger it'll cure. Uh, awesome mod, awesome mod. Uh, minimap HUD. Now there are two minimaps. There's minimap HUD and minimap HUD MZ. I'm using uh, minimap HUD. MZ is slightly more configurable. It's got slightly more customization uh, options. Uh, but to be honest, I find uh, minimap HUD like perfectly adequate for what I want. But either of them work with um, with Shipwrecked if you do the, uh, the the modification that I showed you in that little video that I made. Um, let's see. Season text just tells you the number of days into the current season that you are and what current season it is. Simple, easy, recommended. Uh, smart crock pot. Now, smart crock pot is my <laughs> smart crock pot is my favourite mod, but unfortunately, it causes problems with uh, the the boat controls. So you can't see your uh, your boat durability and you can't see the boat controls and stuff. Uh, if you're using smart crock pot, that's why I've got it turned off. I have had it turned on sometimes, as you've seen, and I love this mod. I, I can't wait for it to get fixed so that we can uh, we can actually use it. Um, sticky recipe. Uh, this you, I think you can use this. I'm pretty sure that you can use this. I've got it turned off at the moment. Um, useful little mod sometimes. It just allows you to um, sticky one recipe so you can follow like what you need. If like if you're if you're trying to get the stuff for a particular recipe. Uh, where's my beefalo and wormhole marks? I haven't used in this series because they're kind of not really appropriate. Um, yeah, like I, I don't. I mean, I, I don't, actually I don't know whether wormhole marks works with the uh, Bermuda triangles. I guess I should try that sometime. Uh, but that's it. That's that's all the mods that I have ever used in any of my series of Don't Starve. And um, yeah, so if you want them, they're all on the Steam Workshop. They're easy to find. And uh, yeah, I hope you uh, I hope you try them out, give them a try, and I hope they work out for you. Okay, so there you go. That's it. I can't think of anything else to say. Um, I'll include links to um, at least some of these mods. I'm not sure I'll do all of them, but I'll, I'll do the important ones. Uh, I'll provide links in the video description. So there you go. We'll leave it there. I'll catch you for uh, the continuing series of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Peace out, guys.